Hello, my Coco Daisy friends. Julie Deal Mooney here today to do a flip through of my setup of my March 2021 planner, and that is Treetop Canopy. So let's dive in. So the first thing that I have is my bag and my pouch, and, and this pouch is from um, July of 2019. And I saw Pauline, who is also on the design team, she um, pulled this bag, and this is one of my favorite pouches of all times. And so even though the kit came with a pouch, I decided to opt back to this one with the hibiscus on it. Um, it kind of fit the theme, the the feel of my planner better. But I did pull that uh, chartreuse uh, tassel off of the bag this month and put it on that because I liked that a lot. And then I'm using the yellow polka dotted uh, zippered sticker folder. And I put a piece of paper inside of it, a piece of planner paper so that it covered both sides. And then inside I have stickers. So yeah, have that. All right, so let's dive in. I am using a Carpe Diem A5 binder in Clover this month. And let's get started. So, um, here in my pocket, I just have some tags that I made with the paper. I have a leftover bow from Coco Daisy from March of 2020. I have a pretty um, felt flower clip from Hearts by Emma on Etsy. Um, this tool bow was from October of 2019. Um, this clip was from March of... 2020, and then I've got the cute little embroidered um, rainforest animals here, and then just some tags, and then I just had, I had some um, glitter dots left over, and so it was just half of a sheet that I had cut in half for something you'll see later on, and so I just tucked those in there. I took a piece of paper punched here, uh, one of the memory keeping papers, and just put a few embellishments on it and called that done, and that, oops, that coordinated with the paper that I have over here. And so I just printed this piece of acetate. It's a piece of um, transparency film for, this one happens to be for laser that you can purchase on Amazon. And so I just print printed March in some kind of, um, they're like marquee letters. And then I just put a couple of tags on a little scrap of sheet and, um, Use another scrap to cut some ring reinforcers there for that. And that was my opening page. And then on the back of this, I just decided to put a few of the sticky notes and a couple of die cuts and a chipboard sticker. And then I used those big numbers to put 03 for March and then just relax. So there's that. Now this page was just white, but I did use a page with a little bit of watercolor wash on it just because it was going to be behind that march and it just needed to be very plain. Anything I tried behind it was too much so it just needed to kind of be white there. So I have the month on one page here and that is from the uh, Dory, the Daisy Dory. And then I made a March goals page and I love these stickers that have um, the encouraging sayings on them from the Daisy add-on sticker kit. And I did this last month for my goals and I looked at them this month. I liked them just as much. Um, it's slow down, take a break, take things one at a time, just keep going, um, be present every single moment. These were just really nice goals for the month. So I went ahead and did that as my goals page. And then I made my currently page, but I haven't filled it out yet. So I just used the sticky note and put uh, the categories on top of them. I punched the currently out with my Sizzix and then put a little life documented uh, die cut up there with them and stuck everything down with a little bit of washi. And then for my notes page, I always use my notes page for prayer. There's something sticky on it right there, but I don't want it to mess up the rub on. And then um, I took the rub on letters and added prayers because this is my this is where I list out my prayers for the month um, as they come up, as we, I found out about people that need praying for. Uh, here's my month on two pages. I really, this is just more of a visual of what's going on for two months. I don't really, whoops, excuse me. I just stepped on my, um, my, I can't remember the pole that my phone is connected to. Um, I don't really use this to refer back to it. It's more of just a visual enjoyment of what's going on that month. So 
It's a little busy this month. Um, this year on one page I use to, um, I have a, a project for each month or I have take a break. Some months I have take a break. So as I've done them, I put done on them. And so for March, I have reorganized my pantry. Aren't y'all jealous that you don't get to do that with me? Um, but yeah, so this kind of keeps me in line, makes me feel like I'm not overwhelmed with my projects, but it also keeps my project for the month right at hand where I won't forget it. So um, this page is a redo of a page that I did in May of 2020. So I took washi and I stuck it down on cardstock and then I just cut it out in a little flag shape at the bottom. And um, and then I just put it down behind a little bar on the top. This little embroidery piece, I pulled off of a paper clip from July of 2020, the Serengeti collection. Um, it just matched the colors on this page really nicely. Um, this die cut down here I pulled from March of 2020. Yes, March. Um, so yeah, so that all came together. The tab too, I think that tab right there came from March of 2020. The colors, I got about halfway through it and I realized I was going very green and peach with it. And so I went back and pulled the March stuff back out and there was a lot of stuff that really matched. So this page just seemed like it was complete by itself. Didn't even do anything with that. Um, so this is my planner section, this next section. And so here's my list of everything that needed to be done for my planner. And then I print my swatches page and my patterns. And then I have laser swatches because I have an inkjet and a laser printer. And then um, I print pictures of some of the kits so that before I get the kits, I can be looking at them to see what pieces and parts of it I want to be using and be thinking about what I'm doing with them. So um, I just printed that out twice, I guess, and put it in here. Now these are just some pictures of some ideas of things that I might want to go that direction. I didn't really use any of that. Well, I kind of used that one. Um, I don't think I actually used that particular shape, but I don't think I really used anything on this page. I uh, did that, but you know, it's just kind of a starting off point. So I definitely did this one. This was the um, picture of the May of 2020 that I had done. And so, um, yeah, that's so I just pulled some pictures of things that I want to do and they're kind of a starting point, whether I do them or not. Um, so this page here is that layout there. So, um, yeah, so I just go to my Pinterest page, see what the old things look like that I've done, and um, and then do that. Uh, for me, February is a super busy month. I have a lot of stuff going on in February, and so setup for me for March cannot be a lot. It has to be a more simple setup. So that's why I was looking for some more simple things that I could do that weren't quite so involved as some of the things that I do sometimes. So, um, but that doesn't mean they're not cute, because this made a really cute dashboard. So I took one of these sticky pockets and I put it here and this is um, deco stickers so that if I want to, but I had them like this and I just didn't like the way it looked because you can't see it really well. So I just took them and I turned them around so that they're white on the back so that I can see the think outside the box and the sloth there. So this is my dashboard for week one. I do a dashboard every week where I have um, overarching things that need to be done. I try to meal plan a little bit, um, hydrate, and my uh, keep up with my work hours. And then this is my first spread, and I'll take the bookmarks out, out as we go. And I make these bookmarks out of acetate, um, printable um, transparency film, and then I laminate them. And this month, I don't know if you can see, uh, I forgot to update the weeks on them. So this one says week five, even though it's week nine. So every one of them has the wrong week number on it. But I thought I could redo them, but it's wasteful. And really it was more of a wasteful thing that I decided not to, that I could live with them saying the wrong week on them. Because really I just use them for feel. So yeah, so I love these colors. Like, So here I live in Florida and it is... Um, anywhere between 65 and 70 right now. So we're in the last week of February and it is just gorgeous. Now it is a teaser because we'll get cold weather again, but like this week, this is what this week feels like to me. Like these 
greens, everything's fresh and starting to grow. Just, I just love that color, color scheme right there. So I have gone ahead and put in all the things that I know of for that week. Um, I did not write on that sticker right there because that's my change my toothbrush head day. Um, it gets changed every three months. So, um, but I have the toothbrush right there. So I know that's what that sticker is for. But other than that, I have words on all of the stickers that I have. So I'm ready to go for that week. And then I left these two sheets blank because I'm going to use these for the um, challenge for um, the journal challenge, the three things challenge. So for this week, I'm gonna use these two pages to write the three things. And so um, this is my content spread. I'll call that a content spread because that works well. So it's got every one of the um, Cocoa Daisy challenges and then the journaling challenges are listed for that day. And then I will also make lists here of things that I want to do for my planner. So if there's anything else that I want to do or if I want to film something or, um, you know, if I need to take photos or if there's just something that I need to do, um, I'll put it in here. And so that just kind of keeps me straight. And there just really isn't room on my regular everyday life spread for this kind of stuff. So. so yeah, so that's what those that spread is for. And then we go into my daily pages. And so I did another one of these bookmarks here. This is my today. And I used the um the free printable. Hello, I'm just mind my own business. And I think that's really cute. And I think that looks really cute with the daily pages. And I have cut, right there, you can see I cut that so that I really didn't have to take that off. I can just do that with it. So, yeah, and then I can pull it because I have to move it every day. So, um, so that's to keep me, so I can easily pull where today's day is. And so every morning, when I get up in the morning and I look over my planner, I just put it on the right page. So I went ahead and printed the days on all of my spreads. And I try different things right at the beginning. So right here, you can see it sits up kind of high off of the line. I didn't like that. So on the second one, I whited out the line, but it prints in two different colors. It prints where the whiteout is a little bit lighter, I didn't like that either. So I just moved it down and got it on the line. And so that's where it's stuck for the rest of them. All the rest of them are printed like that. So um, yeah, just printed that out. And so then this is week two, or I'm sorry, this would be week 10, uh, March 8th through the 14th. And so this is my to-do list. And um, here is my menu plan and the same thing, the hydrate, a little bit of art and keeping up with my work hours. Uh, my spread for this week. I love this one just as much as the first one. Um, once again, my little thing says week six. It's week ten. Um, yeah, this is just my little preppy heart is in love with this pink and green spread. From I just feel like it's 1982, and I'm perfectly happy. So um, yeah, so I've gotten that all set up, and I'm good to go with that one. <clears throat> loving, loving these colors in this. Um, same thing here. I'm going to use these for my three uh, things. Journal challenge, the Coco Daisy journal challenge. And then this is my content spread. And so once again, I have my um, uh, Coco Daisy challenge and then the um, journal challenge and that and I print on these pages um, all of everything that's on these pages right here I set it up on my printer and then I run it through my printer um, and so these aren't stickers these are just printed on the page um, and so then we go into my dailies and I do have my dailies clipped together here because there's nothing here oh that bows on backwards oh um there's nothing here except for just blank dailies with the you know, the same print on them. So we're just flipping right past those. Um, this is my dashboard for week 11. So we have to do my menu plan, my hours at work and hydrate. And then this is my spread for week 11. And as you can see, it is totally blank because I'm going to do a plan with me video. So I'm going to set this week up on film and I was not able to do that before doing this. I wanted to get this film done before um, as quickly as possible because it is the 25th because like, oh, sorry, my chair and I'm sorry, I'm going to have to rearrange my chair and my pole that my camera is on are fighting with one another. Okay, sorry about that. Um, 
so yeah, so I wasn't able to get this done, the, the plan with me video taped. So, um, so I'll be doing that after this setup. So yes, but I picked this green one because this is the week with St. Pat Patrick's Day in it. So I picked all the green for St. Patrick's Day. I think it's really cute. Uh, journal challenge area here. Content here. I did use these stickers from the um, Planner Classified Kit, which I absolutely love these stickers. Just love them. And then we go into my dailies. And then my um, dashboard for week 12. And on this one, this was a little interesting because it wasn't a page that had dividers on it. So I took the faux washi strips and I just kind of made the three dividers. And I just kind of jammed this all together because I had all this artwork over here. But I thought it turned out just fine, it worked out. And um, then this is my spread for week 12. I like this color. I love the colors in this planner this month. And so we've got the greens and the pinks and the navy blue. So yeah, and I made my stickers here for this, the Coco Daisy sticker. I made my icon stickers and my word stickers. So yeah, I do kind of a combination of my own stickers and Coco Daisy. And then this is the journal challenge pages. And then this is my content pages. These stickers were from the um, planner classified kit. And then um, that little cutie right there was by Hearts by Emma on Etsy as well. Um, she's in England, so I'm a little hesitant to order things right now from her just because it's so, I don't know how shipping is. I haven't shipped, I haven't had ordered anything internationally lately. Well, I did, I ordered something from Japan and it took like, I don't know, forever. It took so long I thought I wasn't gonna get it and then it just showed up one day, so it was a bonus. Um, this little llama clip is so cute that was in the kits this month. And so these are just my daily pages. I've got those clipped together. And here we have a um, my washi page for this month. And this um, pocket card was from the May of 2020 kit. I had rounded the corners on it in May, so I must have used it, probably used it in my pocket or something. I just thought it was really cute. And it went really nicely with the colors of my washi. I pulled that washi as well from May, not May, March of 2020. I'm not sure what I said here. It's March of 2020 that I pulled that from. And so all of these washies are from this kit, except for the stri that stripe right there, which was from March of 2020. And somehow I forgot to do the back of this page. So yeah, so um, this is my finance section. And um, so I just happened to have an extra one of these bills to pay sheet. So I put it in here. Um, I have this filled out and then I have some other financial pages that I keep in this, but it moves from one planner to the next and it's currently in my March planner. Um, and so this is, um, this is kind of a totally different look. Um, once again, pulled these die cuts from March of 2020. I know the big ones I did. I'm not sure about the word die cuts. Those might have been, I think that one was from March of 2020 and this one was from March of 2021. Um, I cut this out on my silhouette. So this really was my only like doing a real cutout kind of thing. And I tried to cut a whole circle and part of it messed up, but it worked out great because I only needed to, you know, like it was one and I cut it not quite in half and it worked that the part that you're not seeing was totally messed up, but the part that I used worked out just great. Um, it was one of those things though that it sort of cut through it. It didn't totally cut through it. So I had to poke through almost all of these things. My husband walked in and he goes, I can't believe you do that. But it's very um, cathartic for me to do, to work with paper, so. And then this is my note section. I have not even printed out. Um, usually I take the free printable and I print out A5 pages. I'll have to do that tomorrow um, and get them in here or, you know, sometime this week because this planner doesn't start until next week. I do have one little piece of grid paper and then I have um, kind of a to-do list that I want to do for my craft room that I'm trying to keep front and center. So I put it in here so that I'd see it because I know I'm not going to touch it this week. Um, I did, oh, I did do this too. Um, I made a little shaker 
Okay, so this is kind of a funny story. Oh, yeah, it's a little crazy. Um, so I saw these at the craft store, and I was like, that is the cutest shaker material ever. And it was little, um, you know, uh, shamrocks and little sticky things. I don't know what those little sticky things are called. And then I put some more beads in there. So I bought them. And then I got them home and I looked at it closer and they were like the things that you put on top of cupcakes, those little candies that you put on top of cupcakes. And I was like, I don't care. I'm putting it in my planner. So I can't save this page because this is food. Um, <laughs> this is food in my planner. I cracked myself up. But it was so cute with the May the Luck of the Irish be with you. And um, I, ha I couldn't help myself. And so then I accidentally, um, after I used it, I didn't use all of it. And so I put the rest of it in a Ziploc bag. And I put it in my little bin that I had ribbon and other stuff for that I was using for this planner. And um, my dog got in it and ate the rest of them. So, um, yeah, my husband goes, there's these little green things all over the floor that the dog ate. I'm not sure what it is. And I looked at it and started laughing. Yeah, yeah, that's my planner stuff. That's food. So, yeah, I just sewed that on my, um, I just took a pocket page, uh, covered up the edge with a little piece of paper, put the stuff in it, and then sewed the edge of it with um, my sewing machine. And I put a piece of transparency inside there. I was all about the transparency. I have another piece of transparency that I printed. And then I just punched this piece of gold paper because I don't know, there's something about, you know, pot of gold and um, St. Patrick's Day and all of that seems to go together. So this is the section right here that I put my, um, I can grab it real quick. Um, it's funny. Okay. Let's look back at the last one that I put my future planning, um, months in. And so all my months here, all of this, this from here to here will just come out of this planner and go into that planner. But I forgot to move it over for, um, filming purposes because I'm a day late and a dollar short right now. <laughs> so I did make a small sticker folder this month and I did get it punched. So it's in my planner. And so this is just for um, alphabets. I've got, this is where I use the other half of my um, glitter dots. And then I've got some notes. I've got alphabet stickers here. And then I've got my word stickers that I make. And then I have my um, icon stickers that I make. So those are the only stickers that go in there. The rest of them go in my zippered sticker folder. And so I have opted to use the um, May 2020 pin that is peach. And I like the way that looks with this planner. And that is my planner for March. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great March and I hope you've gotten your planner all set up and you are ready to go. All right, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so if you enjoy my videos and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I put a video out. Thanks so much and have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.